Hello everyone. I'm Hasanga Keshan. Let me explain you about my undergraduate research. It is about investigation on significance on critical infrastructure development in post disaster resettlement in Sri Lanka. When move on to my research background, as you all know, disasters create huge impact to the built environment, especially including houses and critical infrastructure. Speaking of critical infrastructure, those are essential services for the well functioning of the society and economy. Critical infrastructure in post resettlement context is essential to, is, to upbring the lifestyle of the disaster victims and building them back to a better position what they have previously experienced. Then speaking about the, how my research problem was initiated, housing and critical infrastructure becomes an inherent part of post resettlement context. When considering about the ideal scenario where adequate critical infrastructure is provided for a particular resettlement that will result in the success of post resettlement and lead to community satisfaction. On the other hand, when considering about the uh, worst case scenario, where uh, adequate critical infrastructure is not provided for a particular resettlement that will direct it to difficulties to the community, such as move into a permanent house, access to their livelihoods, and ultimately long-term trauma and stress to the community as well. Even though this uh, the need of critical infrastructure is identified in a broader perspective, there is still a gap of identifying the significance of critical infrastructure in local context, and that has cause for an in-depth study, and this has thoroughly investigated throughout the study. This is my aim and objective of the, of the research. Uh, the aim of the research is to establish the significance of critical infrastructure development in post or resettlement projects in Sri Lanka, and I have set four main objectives to establish the need for critical infrastructure development in post resettlement projects in Sri Lanka, to review and determine the types of critical infrastructure requirement for post disaster resettlement projects to evaluate, validate how critical infrastructure infra has influenced the success of post disaster resettlement projects in Sri Lanka, and finally, to make recommendations to further improve the provisions of critical infrastructure in post disaster resettlement projects in Sri Lanka. Then move on to my key literature findings of the research. Post disaster resettlement is to is a plan and control relocation of vulnerable communities from one place to another. There are a few different approaches that can be used for community resettlement out of them. Developing concentrated rural settlement where community can easily access to the, to the critical infrastructure is the best way of community resettlement. When summarizing post resettlement context in Sri Lanka, it takes a number of years to uh, provide permanent settlements for the disaster victims and also the success achieved through PDR context is relatively low in Sri Lanka. Amalgamating post housing construction and critical infrastructure both will result the success of post resettlement projects. It is essential. I have identified importance of critical infrastructure and also different types of critical infrastructure throughout the study as well. Also, I have identified uh, in uh, I have thoroughly investigated and gone through a document review, uh, which is called NBR Resettlement Guideline, which was published in 2017. And the key provisions are uh, can be listed as follows, including sanitation facilities as a co-housing feature, providing water, electricity, and access roads before the construction, providing surface drainage systems based on land topology, social critical infrastructure provision based on threshold levels. You can see clearly see uh, what are the threshold levels and what kind of uh, critical infrastructure that can be provided based on these threshold levels and land selection criteria which is a very very much important criteria when providing critical infrastructure for particular resettlement projects uh, especially in sri lanka after going through uh, research background and literature review i have gone through this research design i have used a qualitative research approach and uh, survey and case study both research strategies have been used and i have conducted two phase, uh, phase one and phase two data collections. And uh, I have conducted 10 preliminary expert interviews under phase one and uh, 12 semi-structured interviews, six from each case under phase two uh, to validate the findings from phase one. Then uh, move on to my findings of the research. When going through the expert opinions, uh, which come coming through preliminary expert interviews, critical infrastructure development basically can be divided into two physical critical infrastructure and social critical infrastructure. Physical critical infrastructure are essential for the physical function of the community, and social critical infrastructure are essential for the mental well being of the community. And those are the physical uh, critical infrastructure that can be listed, and, and social critical infrastructure, which are uh, coming as. Uh, so, which are coming through critical infrastructure, social critical infrastructure uh, from the interviews opinions. And uh, as for the interviews opinions, 
there are three prominent requirements that can be uh, that coming through successful regarding infrastructure establishing social welfare we stand against future disaster and formation of a better economy and that will result through the success of post disaster resettlement context or anyway there are factors to be considered and barriers to be eliminated for a successful critical infrastructure and this can be um, i have I, I will explain in the next few uh, slides as well the uh, according to expert opinions there are 13 factors i have been identified through expert opinions um, out of them site selection permit requirements proper planning are the most prominent uh, and uh, most well highlighted uh, factors by the interviewees uh, and uh, and also minimum threshold resilient livelihood uh, uh, time community culture budget allocation sustainability cost benefit social status minimum standards so those are also key uh, factors to be factors to be considered when providing critical infrastructure for a particular resettlement project according to the expert opinions there are barriers to be eliminated when providing critical infrastructure for, for a particular resettlement uh, issues in land selection limited funding lack of integrated plan and lack of government involvement are the ma major barriers that uh, according to expert opinions that has to be eliminated during critical infrastructure development in post disaster resettlement after going through phase one, I have conducted two case studies uh, in Sabaragamo province to validate the findings uh, which are which came through expert opinions uh, in um, phase one and, and the literature review. I have made uh, this evaluation criteria to evaluate how case one and case two has been pro has been progressed, uh, and I have made this evaluation criteria to evaluate how critical infrastructure has influenced the success of PDR projects. And based on that, uh, I have. Uh, come to a conclusion that case one has uh, relatively successful compared to case two at the end of the study uh, i have compared the uh, study with the global context and these uh, significant factors have been have been highlighted uh, less priority have has been given critical infrastructure development in local context and social critical infrastructure is, is well highlighted in global context because uh, uh, in global context it is well highlighted well, well prioritized the mental stability of the community but uh, in sri lanka it is relatively low uh, relatively less priority is given for a for the social critical infrastructure development and provision for critical infrastructure based on threshold levels this also in sri lanka even though in the uh, resettlement guideline it is well highlighted based on providing critical infrastructure based on threshold levels it is relatively there are uh, limitations in providing based on threshold levels and uh, in global context it is uh, very much highlighted providing critical infrastructure is based on a centralized system rather than decentralized system and uh, in sri lanka there, there, there is less concern on uh, community consultation and involvement resilient and sustainable critical infrastructure in development is well highlighted in global context and provision of uh, telecommunication facilities also relatively low in sri lankan context when compared when uh, when going through the case studies as well when come to the conclusion Disasters create huge impact to the uh, humankind, and it is bo both uh, physically and mentally community get uh, dissatisfied. And uh, therefore, um, mere housing construction is not going to be effective both uh, both in medium term and long term. Therefore, uh, it is mandatory to be concerned on providing critical infrastructure, uh, both physical and social critical infrastructure, uh, during post disaster resettlement projects. When, more, when going through the previous studies, uh, we can clearly see most of the post resettlement projects uh, have been um, unsuccessful due to uh, inability of the uh, relevant authorities uh, to provide basic critical need, basic needs of the community. Therefore, these studies is to focus and uh, give give, uh, give relevant authorities um, uh, to uh, provide put a, uh, put put reasonable effort uh, to provide reason. Uh, to critical to provide critical infrastructure develop uh, critical infrastructure and basic needs for the community after a disaster when come to the recommendation of the study developing critical infrastructure facilities in pdr projects according to a master plan or local development plan preparing appropriate policies and guidelines which which govern the investments to critical infrastructure development in pdr projects and introducing centralized settlements instead of decentralized systems and identify most essential critical infrastructure based on community views and export opinions and provide them within a reasonable time those are the recommendations i have made and this um, and this is the end of my presentation thank you